Today we are joined by Nutcracker920 in the Yetz clan. Now, as some of you I'm sure have seen, I fought this boy with uh, an attack speed, a wild frenzy build for the Aether Strikers. And I mean, it still felt good, it still felt like fast attack speed, but what will really tell us if attack speed has died completely is something slow, like the axe or the hammer. Now, I think the axe actually is the more important one out of the two to have attack speed on, because attack speed on an axe translates to charge speed. The more you can charge your axe, the higher you can get your charge. Avi, right? So, a hammer, when you swing, you are swinging a hammer. If you prime your swing, you will swing it a little slower. There's kind of a little hiccup in the, like, arc of the swing. But for the most part, it's about the same, like, it, you, you hit something. There's no, like, charge up, and if you don't get in your charges, then you're punished. That kind of thing. The axe, if I'm sitting there, and I get two charges, I'm almost at my third, and I have to roll away, because I can't get to my third for my super armor frames, then I just wasted three seconds of my life not hitting the behemoth, just standing next to it, being like, yo, what up? A hammer, I just swing and smack it. And you know, like, what happens, happens. So... And yes, you can just hit things with the axe, but that's not really where you get your damage in. That feels slow to me. Whoop. Alright. I should have thrown my hammer at him, or my axe. Run over here. Spin, spin. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Big sad. Come here, boy. Now, I am playing a little recklessly because it is an Iceborne build. You kind of should be able to play a little recklessly, right? Now we do have conduit. Ooh, we do have conduit on here, and conduit is not necessarily conduit. Probably got hit the hardest out of all of the things. I would say conduit got hurt the worst. Now I am feeling a lack of attack speed right now, especially in my after swings when I can dodge. Which was the main reason they nerfed attack speed, at least that's what they said, is they didn't like how safe it made Slayers. Fine. You know. But like... Yo, what up, boy? Alright, so, you have to get at least two charges on your axe in order to interrupt him. Good to know. Now, I would like to comment that in my Aether Strikers video I'm pretty sure I just killed him outright by now. Now I am using an axe, and a hammer would technically be better, but I fought him with an axe before and it worked out fine. So... Am I just being bad? Oh, break his face, come on! Ugh. I'm amazed that didn't hit me, actually. I think it's just because I'm not focusing on one part as much as I should be. Like, I feel like I should have broken his face by now, and I haven't. Oh, one hit was 2,000. Oh, there was some weird wiggles going on there. Y'all see that? Oh, ow. See, like, I feel like his face should be broken. Is that just me? My imagination? There we go. Now he's gonna go enraged, right? Oh, wow, I actually knocked him out. Cool.
There's the enrage. Huh. Ow, that was rude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh. So, that was just one charge. So I guess I can't even charge my attacks against him after that first, like, slam. Just get one in. Ow. Alright, so I'm actually gonna back up here a little bit. I'm gonna throw my axe at him. Get some determination. I was hoping that would heal me up a little more than that. There we go. Alright, we're healing up a little now. And our axe throw is recharged. Generally, he goes for a spin after he's enraged because you're kind of resetting the encounter. Oh, ow. Yep, there he goes. So we're going back up. You spin me right round, baby. Thank you. What happened here? I'm very confused as to what that was. But, you know. Worst things have happened. So, I definitely feel a difference. It definitely impacts the way that I play the axe. If I was fighting like a Pangar, maybe that would have been fine. Wow, a bounty token! Jeez! So that's one out of six hunts so far. That's pretty good. I'm keeping a tally. The whole time, the whole hunt pass, I'm going to keep a tally on how many of these drop. Because last hunt pass, once I started counting, I only got 16. And I went through like... I started at like level, counting at like level 10. So... Just saying. So yeah. That's, uh, that's where I'm at. I think attack speed hurt the weapons that it shouldn't have hurt the most aka the axe and the hammer the weapons that actually need the attack speed the aether strikers you don't need attack speed for these things i just put attack speed on because it's hilarious same thing with repeaters do i have a repeaters build on here no i don't like you don't need the attack speed you kind of do for repeaters they're very slow for the amount of damage that they do. They do a lot of damage, but only if you have the fire rate and uptime to keep the damage output there. So, do I like the attack speed nerf? No. Do I think it should be balanced in a way where, like, it equals different things for different weapons? Yes, I do. Like, for example... Wild Frenzy. On a slow attack speed weapon, I think it should be increased to what it was before. On a fast attack speed weapon, I think it's fine being nerfed down to 20%. Or even 15%. But, like... Technically, it should kind of nerf itself being put on faster attack speed weapons because 30% of a big number is a larger amount even though it is a percentage than 30 percent of 10 would be 3.3 right is that how that works i think so 30 percent of 100 would be 33 so i don't know if it really feels how i'm saying it i'm saying it like a dummy anyway if you liked today's video, make sure to leave an upvote. If you didn't leave a downvote, if you want to see more of me, give the channel a subscribe. If you want to see more and more of me, you can head over to twitch.tv forward slash shockerct422, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye!